Thank you, members. Thank you. I now call the member for Cairns for your question, please. Mr Speaker, my question without notice is of the Premier. How does the Premier justify the use of taxpayer funds to support the foreign-owned Adani Corporation when it will put at risk thousands of jobs generated by the Great Barrier Reef? I call thank the Thank you, um, Mr Speaker. I thank uh, the member for Cairns for that very important question, Mr Speaker. And let me state from the outset that my government is investing in protecting the Great Barrier Reef. We know how important tourism jobs, tens of thousands, around 60,000 tourism jobs, uh, in the industry alone, Mr Speaker, and, and in fact, usually when I'm up in Cairns, I catch up with people who are linked in with that tourism industry. In fact, just uh, a couple of weeks ago, I was in Cairns for uh, a meeting with Julie Bishop, our Foreign Affairs Minister, who actually had invited all of the ambassadors from Canberra up to Cairns to look at opportunities in North Queensland. And can I just say, as an outcome from that meeting, I've already had a number of ambassadors who have contacted me about investing in Queensland, wanting to come here, speak to us, and that is a direct result of attending, of attending that forum and talking up uh, the benefits of North Queensland. Mr Speaker, the second part of the question, uh, let me make it very clear that at the last election I said very clearly that my government would not spend taxpayers' money building a railway line. I was very clear in that. I said that in our Great Barrier Reef document. I also said it in our election campaign launch, Mr Speaker. Unlike those opposite that invested, uh, that wanted to put in place uh, $455 million of taxpayers' money into um, contributing to the building of that rail line, Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker, what did we do? What did we do? What did we do with that $455 million? Well, let me tell you, we built the Cairns Special School, Mr Speaker. We built the Cairns Special School with that money, Mr Speaker. What else do we do? We put money into the Townsville Stadium, $140 million in the Townsville Stadium, Mr Speaker. We also put in place uh, money for $28 million for the Vines Creek Bridges upgrade, Mr Speaker. Money for the Back to Work program, Mr Speaker. Money for skilling Queenslanders for work. We have utilised that money into growing jobs, Mr Speaker. I made it very clear that we would not put money into that rail line, Mr Speaker. I understand there's an application separately to do with NAIF. And let me say about NAIF, Mr Speaker, the federal government has not got one single dollar out of that $5 billion out the door, Mr Speaker. That is $5 billion, $5 billion, once again, Queensland should have rightfully a good share of that $5 billion. Where is that money? If we had that money out the door, we'd be able to even get on further with growing jobs in this state, Mr Speaker. So, Mr Speaker, from those opposite, I want to hear the end of the whinging. I want to see some positive contribution about, about making phone calls to Canberra, get that NAIF money out the door, Mr Speaker, to grow jobs, but also, too, we want Cross River Rail, and it's about time they stood up and backed us in, and backed Queensland in for a change. Thank you. I now call the